Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. This is Nazbul Islam from Classy Devs. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to change the home page slide in PrestaShop. From this tutorial, you will learn how to add new image slider, how to edit existing image slider, and how to delete the existing image slider from the slider. And you also can able to increase or decrease the duration of the transition between two slides. So let's get started. At first, we have to log into the back office. Now we have to go to the module, then module manager. Now in the source box, you can see here we have to search the image slider. Just right here. Now you can see the image slider. So it is already installed. Just click the configure button. So now after clicking the configure button, you can see the new window here. So in this window, there is three slides list you can see. So this is the existing slide list from the Presta shop. Now we are going to delete these three slides and we will add the new slides here. So to delete it, just click the delete button here. Now we are going to add the new image slides so to add it just click on the add new button now here you can see the image field so you can see the choose a file so just click over that on the first slide here we would like to add the crazy elements image just click the open now here you can see the title so we have to give the title of this image so we would like to add the crazy elements as a title of this image now here you can see the targeted url the targeted url is that url which will redirect the url when you click the image so it will redirect to that link so we are going to add the targeted url for the crazy elements this is our targeted url for the crazy elements now here we would like to add the caption which is work like a alter tag and which is good for the search engine optimization. So uh, here we would like to add the crazy elements of the caption. Now here you can see the description. So here you would like to add some text uh, about this image. So in that case we are going to add some text here. Now we have just uh, keep it the heading three, the first line and the others line are in the paragraph format. Now we have to keep it enable and click save. Let's check out the front office. Here you can see our image is added the first slide. This is the title and this is the precision page builder, which is the heading three. And this is the paragraph text. So if you want, you can edit this text, you can edit the color of this text. And you also can see when you will just uh, click over the image, then it will redirect to the new link. So let's see. So this is the link of that image slides. As well as we are going to add the two images, another two image slides. So let's do it now. Now we are going to add another new slide. So let's do it now. So click over the plus button. Now it's time to see the front office. So let's see, we have added three new slides. So let's see, is it work or not? 
this is the first slide of crazy element pressure free page builder so when you click the next arrow then you can see the next slide this is the smart block and smart block is the popular pressure shop block so you can try it this is the slider revolution 6 slides so here by the slider revolution 6 you can create the beautiful slides for your pressure shop and we will put these three links to the description box so easy it's working right now and you can see there is the three slides and when you keep the cursor here then the slide is not moving but when you just uh, keep away to, uh, to your cursor then you can see that it will move automatically so now we will see the another new thing which is the speed so the duration of the transition between two slides so here is given the 5000 millisecond but if you want you can increase it or decrease it so currently it is the 5000 millisecond which is the 5 second so if you want you can increase it you can give it 8000 millisecond which is the 8 second or you can give the 1000 millisecond which is the 1 second and here you can see the pause on hover and it's enable now so this is what we have seen that if you keep your cursor over the image then the image will not move and it will just uh, pause but if you just keep away then it will be moving so this is now enable this is why it's working pause on hover now the next thing is the loop slider so in the loop slider uh, it is the third slide or first slide doesn't matter if you enable it then it will always looping uh, it will go it and it will loop or stop after the last slide so now see pause on hover is disable and loop slider is disable and let's see what's happening click on save now click the view my shop here we just keep the cursor here and there you can see just uh, one second one second one second the move very fast and now while we keep our cursor here it is still moving but when the third slide is coming here it is not moving it is just keep state here because here you can see the loop forever is disabled so keep looping you can just click the enable and just click the save and pause and hover keep it enable just click the save now you can see here the slide leaks the three slides if you want to edit the existing slide you can do it just click the edit button or if you want to just uh, see how can we edit the existing slide here you can see the title so we can change it no problem or if you want you can disable it or enable it from here you don't need to go the edit to disable it just click the enable button and it will be disabled so it is now in the disable state so if you want to enable it again then just click the disable button then it is enable this is all about our tutorial if you like this video then please hit the like button to subscribe our channel to get the more video and please keep watching videos to learn more about Mr. Shop. bye bye